Welcome back to Radio Entrepreneurs. I'm Jonathan Friedman in the studio today, joined by my next guest, Pete Ficari. Pete from RCN. Pete, how are you? I'm well, thank you. How are you? Good, thanks. Good to have you here. Pete is a director of business services, uh, certainly a, one of RCN's uh, sweet spots, uh, servicing business customers. So tell us a little bit about RCN Business Services. Yes. So RCN Business Services um, operates in 17 uh, communities around Boston, uh, Framingham, out to Framingham and Natick. And uh, we provide uh, voice, video, and data services to business customers, small, medium, and, and large size customers. And uh, we offer, we're a little unique in that we offer what's considered the last mile. So if you're a business and you want service from RCN Business Services, uh, if we're not already in an existing building, uh, we need to do construction and build into to provide you the services. So we don't share any of the uh, lines associated with the uh, traditional telephone companies. And so we build specifically for you. Oh, interesting. And and is that a scale issue? Is it or is it a you know? I'd imagine it's very expensive to uh, take a customer that has three phone lines and an internet uh, connection and build the last mile to them. Is it, it? It could be. Uh, and generally, we you know we look to um, you know economies of scale. So if it's uh, you know twenty people in a, in a particular building, we take a look at that. Um, sometimes we build you know, and generally we're building fiber optics into those buildings. And, but we do provide small businesses, medium businesses, and large businesses video services. Um, one thing unique to us is that we also provide video services over our fiber optic delivery system, which our competitors do not today. Hmm. Tell, tell our listeners a little bit about uh, RCN business uh, competitive advantage in the marketplace. What do you guys provide or what are you bringing that your competitors, uh, that you do better than your competitors? <laughs> okay. So as I touched on, uh, we deliver our video services or can deliver video services over fiber optics. Um, so that allows them to take advantage of some of the newer technology. We referenced um, uh, in a previous uh, situation where, you know, there's what's called pro-idiom uh, television sets and high definition sets. And so a fiber optic delivery system is uh, advantageous to the end user uh, in terms of picture quality and some of the advantages that they can see from the TV. Um, in terms of our uh, voice uh, services, we offer small, medium-sized businesses, um, you know, calling packages, uh, similar to, you know, wh when the old cellular moved into, hey, we're giving you a one, here's your fixed cost for all the calling that you need. We've moved into that area as well, and we offer um, business service, you know, uh, calling throughout the domestic United States incorporated into the fixed monthly cost of the service. Uh, we also I can just, attest to that, and it is a fixed monthly cost. It is. As a yes. customer, long-time customer. Thank you. Um, what's, uh, what's on the horizon uh, from a technology standpoint that business uh, customers should be looking out for? Yeah, you know, we... Uh, we're interested uh, in the Boston market. We always want that bleeding edge. Uh, I know, know, I know. Well, some of the things that we're doing, uh, we referenced the last mile uh, connectivity where we, where we go into a building and build it. Um, as you had referenced, sometimes it's cost prohibitive to do that. So we're now uh, testing technology where we're putting wireless uh, re um, dishes on some of the existing buildings where we're giving people the ability to get our services um, in some of the buildings where, you know, we cannot, you know, let's say that there was a street that was paved and there's a moratorium on the street where we can't deliver the ser we can't deliver service to you because we'd have to dig up the entire street. Um, also, you know, one of the things that we experience here in Boston is that generally there's a street moratorium or a dig moratorium um, in the winter. Mm. And so, you know, this will help assist us and augment, uh, you know, in those particular scenarios, we can deliver services to people much faster uh, in that particular scenario. Um, and, you know, we will ultimately move, uh, you know, as the, as the industry moves towards, you know, delivering services uh, IP over IP, as Jeff referenced earlier. And so business services, we will do an, an IP delivery over that. So we continue to um, offer, you know, sometimes we do verticals. Uh, we'll come out with products specific to verticals, such as hotels and motels. Uh, we'll come out with verticals that are related to financial services, um, colleges and universities. So we will continue to take a look at the business. Um, we reference, you know, where our customers are asking us for. And one of the things about RCN is that we're very nimble and very quick at and understanding what our customers' needs are and then um, developing some sort of product offering. It's, you know, there's not a lot of layers here. And so we're very quick to uh, uh, make recommendations to our customers and accommodate them.